How's it going boys? So today we are playing the Minotaur attack deck. It's not a Minotaur tribal deck, but it is a, well, technically a Minotaur OTK type of strategy. Moraug, Fury of a Comb. This guy has landfall, and his landfall is amazing. Which is strange, because no one has ever uh, showed me a deck like this. I have never played a deck like this. No one has ever mentioned a deck like this. But I know about this card for a long, long time. And its landfall effect was one of the most better ones that I thought there is out there. Sure, it has some setup required, but all in all, I'm surprised that decks with this guy aren't extremely common. Like seriously, I have played this game quite a lot, but I have never run into anyone who plays this card. That's quite amazing. So, this guy is the win condition. His landfall is, after a combat phase, you get an additional combat phase. Now I don't know what's a combat phase, but I'm assuming it's pretty good. So, we have this guy. And, with Ash Ashaya, Soul of the Wild, everything you play is essentially a land. So, that's a combo. Then we have Tatyoa, which also likes when lands are played. And because of Ashaya, everything is a land, yet again. So, it's a pretty neat little thing. We have also Genesis Ultimatum to draw cards and place the combo pieces on top. A Great Henju to draw even more cards. Uru to play more lands. And Combustible Gearhulk that sometimes accidentally OTKs people because they don't understand that my deck is a 4.6 average mana cost deck. Oh yes, boys. Uh, that's pretty cheesy and sleazy, not gonna lie. So, yeah. We have 4 Land of Orels, 4 Paradisio Druids, 2 Looming Boys, 4 Orus, 4 Ashia Souls of the Wild, 4 Tatiovas, 4 Comb Combustible Gear Hulks, 3 Moraug Fury of a Comb, uh, 4 Genesis Ultimatums, 3 Great Hinges and a bunch of lands, 4 Fable Pass, just 25 lands to be specific. It is pretty cheesy, and boys, it is one hell of a combo. So, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? Also, in the meantime, we have a new Patreon to thank. So, give it up and a warm welcome to Olampo Matok. Yes, not Matic, but Matok. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Greatly appreciated the support as always. And boys, remember, you can also support me. And one of the easier ways is just pressing the sub button and the bell icon because YouTube hates us. Obviously. So, anyway, this is the hand. And by the way, we're gonna be playing one decent-ish game. Bad starting hand, though, questionably. Also, we average uh, some... Ah, yeah, there it is. There it is. So, with a, cu with a curve this extreme, are are Arena takes pity, and usually by f uh, turn 4, you have an average of 7 lands in your hand. Uh, in the form of either actual lands, for example like this, or, you know, through things like Land of War Elves and whatnot. Also, I don't like these colors. It makes me feel like I'm gonna get, uh, something something dark side, uh, ratted. Yeah, pretty accurate, not gonna lie. Okay, that was great enemy could. How about the Tiova now? Yeah, no one attacks the Tiova. You know you don't want to. She's a Naga waifu. And yes, she's a Naga. Not a- <laughs> The hell? Okay. Okay. Okay! I understand how it is. Come on. I dare you. Do something. Yeah, that's right. I win. Because this is the setup, essentially. Watch this. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're gonna be talking about... Okay, yeah, this, this is the setup, boys. Watch this. Yeah, pay, pay the life cost. Do it. Do it. Oh, wow, good thing you actually didn't. <laughs> that was horrible! Anyway, we are pretty much above our enemy. How many of them do you have in your deck? Also, what, are you gonna just Wrath of God again? Because it looks like it. 
Oh, Fay of Wishes. Well, you're good and rather god. Wait, are you just maybe dead? A lotus field? Dude, I'm not sure if you can do the mad there, but I think you're dead, though. Watch this. You think I can't boost my attack by, like, I don't know, a mere two? For this thing? Yeah, just take the damage, see if I kill you. Ah, close enough. See what I mean? That card's pretty decent. And by the way, we are gonna be talking about <clears throat> uh, the Pokemon subject. We're not gonna be really talking much about her, we're just gonna be talking about how to dis uh, differentiate a fake personality from someone. Because it is a little bit tricky, you know? Uh, if you don't see the person for an extended period of time, if it's not over-exaggerated, it's sometimes a little bit hard to tell. Because there are people who are genu genu genuinely nice, and then there's people who fucking fake it until they make it like Pokemon. But yeah, that's a little bit uh, after this. It's gonna be a pretty interesting topic, because we have not talked about uh, sociology. I don't know, the stuff I'm good at anyway. So yeah, onward we this this guy this hand's fine. Is it? Oh it actually is! Nice! Oh Lotus? I don't want an aggro dick. Well then again you will have to find a way to deal with combustible gear hulk, and this guy has first strike. Okay, this seems honestly fine-ish. Wait, so little lands, what's happening? Well, I'm gonna probably draw four lands in a row anyway, so I'm technically not exactly afraid of anything. Oh, that's such a slow start, you pitiful creature. Oh, that's so sad. What the hell is that? Wait. Could you be playing a Lotus? Just because you can? No. Oh no! Guess what he's bought? Yeah, all that glitters. Every single fucking time. Every time you see a top tier opening like that, they have all that glitters. There is literally never a situation where that is not the case. Wow. Well, what, 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 what a great game. You know what usually they have also in their hand? A second all that glitters. Equivalently bad, not gonna lie. A little bit better than... But, yeah. This this is this, this is literally what life is made of. Come on, OTK him. OTK him, Gear Hulk. Can he even, though? Yeah, yeah, just, 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 just draw three Genesis Ultimatums and let's have a laugh. <laughs> no, but seriously, today is like one hell of a day. I have played against... So many decks that have had the perfect curve, like elf decks. Ah, well, that's at least... Yeah, you see? You see that, you little bitch? Yeah, that's why... Okay, so you dealt with one, technically, right? Are you gonna buff something else on her, or are you just gonna leave it as it is? <laughs> uh, you should have honestly just put it on the stupid top there. Well, enemy con technically I don't care enough. Pay life gear hulk a clog boys. Watch this. Come on. Take it. Take it. Oh you're no oh yeah, well that's 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 not great. Could have taken it, boy. Not gonna lie, could have actually taken that and it would not be even problematic. Anyway, now you have to sack either the dog or the ornithopter. Anyway, whatever uh, whatever you choose, yeah, that's good. Because that removes some, uh, some of that damage there. Okay, so the real question is, can he actually do some... Of course you ha yeah, that's what I that's always what you have. A second all that glitters. And more ornithopters. Of course! I don't know what that does. Can't be blocked?! Wait, did you just allow me to window? Oh, no, 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 that's a lot of life gain. Okay, uh, plan two, I guess. Drop this, see what happens. Nothing happens, we lose because reasons at this point. Okay, 
Now we can still actually, yeah, that's yeah, that's 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 all she wrote. Can be blocked, huh? Who even uses that card? It's so fucking shit. Well, I guess enemy can uses it. Yeah, we lose. Well, anyway, ten minutes have passed. Google is no longer monitoring every word that I say, so we can talk about Pookie Maid, right? So we have talked about her before because she's uh, literally a marvelous example of a fake personality. Now everyone, well everyone with a single shred of brain should probably know that her personality is as 100 fake as they come. But it sometimes can be hard to dis uh, differentiate between an actual person who's kind and a person who's just faking it. Now. There are a couple of really simple ways. Well, if you're not actually accustomed to it, uh, you're gonna need some practice, but everything in the, uh, the sort of manipulative way needs practice, so you're, you're not... it's impossible to avoid. So, essentially, this is how, uh, how it goes. A fake personality can e e easily be, dis uh, be figured out. One, the most simplest and easiest way. If that person is too kind and continues to be too kind as soon as, as you do something wrong, 99.% of the time it's fake. If they, if they are, uh, if, and the second easiest way is, you're gonna see, a, a, an actual nice person is not gonna be aggressive, is not gonna, usually they're not gonna be aggressive towards you in any ways, but a fake person who's uh, trying to pretend that they're nice all the time they have some they have little caveats and those little caveats are pretty easy to see for example if someone brings up that they are not actually as as much as a cutesy wootsy perfect uh, samaritan as uh, as uh, as they want you to think they will aggressively defend it a, a person who's genuinely nice is usually not gonna defend it so aggressively or anything. Essentially, you're gonna feel that something's wrong with them. And if you feel that something's wrong with them personality-wise, because they are acting too nice in situations where they should not be exactly acting like that, most likely that personality is as fucking fake as it can uh, be ever. So, that's one big thing. That's why uh, fake personalities are never actually the way. But there are two types of people who, uh, who, who use fake personalities. Uh, one is people who want to appear nice because they want to be liked by everyone. And a nice person is going to be liked by the majority of people by default. That's just the way life is. And the second one is if being nice is a uh, is a net gain for you usually that involves something like jobs and whatever for example in pokemon situation we're talking about twitch twitch is a place where anyone can make it but those any ones are going to be the 0.0 percentile of the world and i'm not overestimating it the people, who, the only type of people who make it as movie stars, TV, well, movie stars and TV stars can be uh, fakely made, but usually the people who make it as crowd appealers are people that are uh, better than 99.9% .9 of the world at some form of something. And Pookie Main's uh, situation. Well, she's not good at gaming, she's not good at a lot of things. Only thing she has for her is the nice bro-ish gamer girl type of scenario for her. And, well, if that gets under attack, then, well, yeah, not happy times, essentially. Also, what the fuck are you doing, enemy con? Like, stop, you're annoying me. Anyway, uh, that's, that's one of the things. That's why she will always defend it instantaneously. Because the moment she is no longer seen as the nice person, she has literally nothing left about her. Like, there is zero appeal left in her. There is absolutely nothing that distinguishes her from anyone. Because that's all she ever was. 
So that's quite a funny one. So she kind of needs to protect that. Admittedly, at this fame, she's in the, uh, the position that she has so much fame and so much simp followers that it's impossible to kind of wreck her to a degree. Uh, but yeah, still, wow. Am I right or am I right? Okay, this guy is just doing stuff. Okay, let's see. A land of old elf. Yeah, that's actually okay. Uh, I need to play this, then I can actually just insta win. Wait, couldn't I just play this? I have a feeling like I should have, but I didn't. And uh, that's fine, probably. Anyway, we have a pretty good turn. Oh god, we have a really good turn. Okay, so we're playing the Minotaur, and yeah, most likely we're going to be playing it, saving one elfish, elfy boy. Well, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see what enemy Kun decides that he wants to delete. Okay, uh, but yeah. So that's about the personality things. If something seems off about a nice person, they're most likely just not a nice person, they're faking it. People do it to just be uh, loved by everyone, and people do it, uh, secondly, mostly for some kind of monetary gain. Either a job, well, it's usually a job. Because, again, a person who's liked by everyone is probably the right person for anything. So, that's pretty much it. it it's a low-hanging fruit, honestly. But if people don't have uh, any experience with uh, with someone who's a oh, fucking course you have an organ, you piece of fucking shit! But that's fine. I'm gonna absolutely... No, wait, I can't. Minus five. Yeah, you can't get rid of the hinge now, can you, you little shit? Now, that hurt. That was the perfect setup for absolutely everything. Okay, can we actually do the perfect... How much of this this cost? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're kind of getting a lot done here. Look at this. Bam! Look at those triggers. And suddenly they go off. That's seven cards drawn. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay. The Tiawa continuing to draw his things. Yeah, this can rival Lugendex because you simply can not get rid of the Great Henge. And that's quite amazing. Okay, gonna drop this. There's no re Well, technically, there's no reason for us to play it, but you kind of get the point. Okay, enemy con What now? Are you gonna play a new Ugin? Ha! <laughs> Try it, you little shit. Try it! Come on! See what happens! Try it! Yeah, it's not technically a counter Ugin deck, but the fact that you can't deal uh, against the Great Hinge with an Ugin does kind of come in a lot of handies. And let me tell you this, enemy con. If you're not just killing, uh, killing this board next turn, this thing is gonna absolutely crush you. Trust me. Okay. So, anyway, very worry about other things that make sense or matter in the world. Yeah, probably not too deep. Also, how many cards do I need to discard? Jesus Christ, a lot, huh? What's even left in my hand? Ah, yeah, stuff. It's fine. Okay. But yeah, just pay attention to people when they, uh, when they are being too nice. Because they, they will fuck it up. Most people are incapable of the, keeping a nice persona up. And funny thing about Pokemon, have you heard the fact that she limited how much you can donate to her? Can you legitimately imagine how fucking fuming and furious she was? The moment that she understood that that's one of the easy ways to save her reputation. Can you imagine how much steam was going through uh, through her... A uh, fucking course. How much steam was going through her goddamn ears at that point. It was probably absolutely terrific. Oh yes, boys. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? Dude. Can you stop with the Ugins? You already... Oh, a Meteor Golem! That's cute! You're gonna kill the Henge, aren't you? Yeah, that's not exactly gonna do too much, not gonna lie. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Well, first, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Five is not a good number. Genesis Ultimatum. Oh, wow, this is not impressive at all. 
<laughs> ah, it's fine, though. Because literally, this would instantaneously win the game. By normal circumstances, yeah, that would just instantaneously win the game. Uh, and I'm gonna drop this, just because I can. Yet again, boys! Too bad we don't have haste. Haste is, haste is the one thing that I sh uh, that I honestly want to add in this deck. It could be lucratively beyond reason useful. Also, I'm gonna play one of these just to get everything back. Okay, and take this. This, 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 this. I honestly don't know if that's even useful. Uh, that's not a lot. So I really don't want the idea that I'm gonna get Ugin'd again. That would be kind of like really, really bad. Uh, but we should win. There's like absolutely no way. Right? No way, right? Yeah, you can kill the Furi, it doesn't matter. Unless you play an Ugin, you're dead. And I honestly don't think the game's gonna reward you with three Ugins like that. It's just not happening. It is just literally not happening. Admittedly, an Ulamog could theoretically... It did reward him with an Ugin. He has an Ugin. Are you fucking kidding me? So what? You're gonna do the fourth Dugan now or something? Is that like... That's literally all of my things. Oh my god. How insanely stupid is that? How absolutely bluntly stupid is that? Yeah, a lot bluntly stupid. That's, that, that's pretty much it. Look at this. Dude, if you drop one more Ugin, don't. Dude, if he actually draws an Ugin on top of this, it's gonna be insane. Also, boys, you can, as always, comment if you want me to talk about something. We can always talk about something because, well, I have nothing against talking about something. Mill the cards. See what happens, you little bitch. Do it. Do it! Do it! Take the damage! Actually, there's nothing left in the deck, so... Yeah. Wait. Oh, he let me draw. Okay, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Gonna drop this, because it's actually useful. Jesus Christ, though. Absolutely insane in the membrane. Okay, how much cards we need to discard? A lot. Great. Dude, if you if he plays one more Ugin, if he just plays one more Oh god, I did not need to discard that much. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's actually relatively bad. Uh oh. Nah, it's fine. There's enough combat phases. Dude, if you play one more Ugin... Oh, he's searching for the Ugin. Dude. Actually, there is one more left. Good thing I did not play this, otherwise I could lose. There should be one more left, right? Anulama, are you fucking kidding me? Dude! This is what I'm talking about. Everyone's just experiencing such extreme luck. You know who? Wh what I played against today? One of the games I played against was a uh, mono green deck. Land of War Elf turn one. Uh, El uh, Elvish El Elvish boss Milfu Waifu turn two. Uh, turn three. Elvish uh, Elvish Beast Whisper. Turn, uh, turn four, the guy, uh, Elvish Arc Druid, and next turn, he fetched out, uh, with the green land, he fetched out the stupid giant frog dude that gives trample and damage to every, it was, oh my god. Same with this guy, look at this, just gets an Ugin, dude, three Ugins in a fucking row. Three Ugins in a row. 
That's not funny. I can't win off of this. I don't have haste. We can just cast the Genesis Ultimatum and see what happens just for funsies. Look at this. Look at this. We could have been so hard. But yeah. Wow. See, this is why you sometimes maybe want haste in your deck. But that's pretty much it. Oh god, what a loss. But yeah, it's currently a relatively good time for decks like this to exist. Especially with haste, but I don't have haste. I find haste to be a tedious thing to add currently to a deck like this. You can do it with the trebuchets or whatever the hell that red card is, the, the three costing creature with defender. Uh, but yeah, it is absolutely insane. I'm still here, by the way. I'm, I'm just just texting. Ah, boys, that's how important you are to me. I will always... <laughs> Not really, but whatever. Onward we go. Damn. Three Ugins in a... God damn it. And he couldn't even play them. He just got the stupid monument. Obelisk, or what, what's it called? Oh, my God. A Tamiyo Avatar. I still want that Tamiyo Avatar real, real bad. What is this? Well, I guess it's fine. We're still gonna somehow manage to average seven lands, though. Wah, 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 watch me. Oh, are you gonna be a red deck? Are you a goblin deck? I have a feeling you're a goblin deck. I'm right, aren't I? Yep, you're a fucking goblin deck, and a really bad one. Okay, but you're smart, though. Anyone who does not ping an elf if you're playing a red or- Okay! See this- <coughs> I'm not sure what Arena has done, I did not see an update, but today, every game I have- I have lost is against the most extremely perfect curves possible. Absolutely most extreme curve, perfect curves possible. Even this guy, look at this, his deck is complete fucking garbage dumpster fires. Uh, but he's most likely gonna win because, well, goblins, and he just got uh, the, the prospector on curve. Using a firecracker monkey. Jesus Christ, that's so stupid. It's such a bad card in a goblin deck. If you're not, if, if your deck is not designed about the concept of getting Muxus out as soon as possible, you're not doing something right. Wow. This guy is a real role player, huh? Look at this. Or do you actually not have a Muxus in your hand? Could that be even possible? Well, there's a Kranko, though. Whoopty boopty. Wow. So enticive. Yeah, we lose anyway because Goblin decks and Krankos exist. Uh, but yeah, still. Sugoi. V v v v very cool, Arena. Very cool. Well, let's hope they ban Ugins and, well, everything that revolves around Ugins and Goblins. And everyone's gonna have a fine day. Or a better day. Or something in between or in the middle. No, no one honestly cares as long as some decks get banned. Well, onward we go. I, well, it's not onward we go. This is probably it. Yeah, we're done. We're fucking dead. There's no way we survive next turn. Are we actually mad, mad? Yeah, we're minus... No, we're even more dead. Okay, yeah. There's the thing I expected to happen a bit, a bit prior. Hey, don't don't have a Muxus? Well, play a Kranko. He's gonna create 50 quadrillion fu- Well, I am dead anyway, but you could have created the Kranko mob boss goblins just for shits and giggles. Minus two? Wait, why minus two? 
Oh, because, yeah, I thought it's minus one, but he gets plus one attack, so I was definitely... Well, even more, uh, one one damage more than, than, I, than I anticipated. Okay. <clears throat> oh, by the way, about the thing about the personalities when someone's faking it. If so, uh, that only works for people who are faking kind personalities, like, you know, the good Sumerian types. Uh, that does not work for other things. There's not honestly a lot of things other than that. Uh, but fake personalities don't exactly exist that often unless someone's trying to, like, fit in. So, yeah, and if someone's trying to fit in, th does that even honestly matter? I don't think so, so we're not gonna be even talking about that. But, yeah, waiting for indie development servers to do things. God, I wish they actually took a little bit while uh, this long to uh, cue me into something that's not a goblin or an Ugin deck. That would be swell. Very happy that those decks exist. But anyway, this is one hell of a funny combo deck. It combos a lot. It combos a ridiculously high amount a lot. So yeah. Anyway, so this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.